Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves for participating in this Eucharistic celebration by humbly asking God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. A certain man of the house of Levi married a Levite woman who conceived and bore a son. Seeing that he was a goodly child, she hid him for three months. When she could hide him no longer, she took a papyrus basket doped it with bitumen and pitch, and putting the child in it, placed it among the reeds on the river bank. His sister stationed herself at a distance to find out what would happen to him. Pharaoh's daughter came down to the river to bathe, while her maids walked along the river bank. Noticing the basket among the reeds, she sent her handmaid to fetch it. On opening it, she looked, and lo, there was a baby boy crying. She was moved with pity for him and said, It is one of the Hebrews' children. Then his sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call one of the Hebrew women to nurse the child for you? Yes, do so, she answered. 
So the maiden went and called the child's own mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child and nurse it for me, and I will repay you. The woman therefore took the child and nursed it. When the child grew, she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, who adopted him as her son and called him Moses. For she said, I drew him out of the water. On one occasion, after Moses had grown up, when he visited his kinsmen and witnessed their forced labor, he saw an Egyptian striking a Hebrew, one of his own kinsmen. Looking about and seeing no one, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. The next day he went out again, and now two Hebrews were fighting. So he asked the culprit, Why are you striking your fellow Hebrew? But the culprit replied, Who has appointed you ruler and judge over us? Are you thinking of killing me as you killed the Egyptian? Then Moses became afraid and thought, The affair must certainly be known. Pharaoh too heard of the affair and sought to put Moses to death. But Moses fled from him and stayed in the land of Midian. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. I am sunk in the abysmal swamp where there is no foothold. I have reached the watery depths. The flood overwhelms me. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. But I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds, he spurns not. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done, since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable 
for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Isang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Mga minamahal kong kapatid, ano sa palagay nyo ang pinakamalungkot na salita sa Tagalog? What do you think is the loneliest Tagalog word? Patay? Luge? For me, it is the word sayang. Sayang. Para sa akin, isa ito sa mga pinakamalungkot na salita sa Tagalog. Sayang. Bakit po? Because the word sayang means something that has been lost and will never be recovered. It is an opportunity, maybe an opportunity that passes us by and we will no longer the same opportunity. Sayang. Isang pagkakataon na pinalampas at hindi na babalik muli. I think this is the message of our gospel today. The Lord has been condemning the places like Chorazin, Bethsaida. Woe to you! Sa wimpalad kayo, Chorazin at Bethsaida. Why? Because they missed their opportunities. Jesus reproached these towns because He did mighty deeds there. But they did not repent. Marami siyang mga himalang ginawa sa mga lugar na iyon. Higit pa sa mga ginawa niya sa ibang lugar. Pero bagamat may mga naniwala, ay meron ding walang pakialam. And, there, and therefore, they missed the grace. They missed the opportunities. Ano, mga kapatid, ang inyong karanasan ng mga sayang? Ano yung mga pagkakataon na kung babalikan ninyo sa inyong buhay ay pinalampas ninyo at ngayon ang tangi na lamang ninyong masasabi ay sayang. Sayang. I hope the gospel of today will remind you always when opportunity knocks, open the door. Let us not allow graces to pass us by. Otherwise, the only thing that we can say is sayang. Amen. Please stand. God is patient and aware of our miseries, let us pray to Him to help us on the way of conversion and renewal. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Christian faithful may heed the call to faith and repentance, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that God may give us the courage to commit ourselves to the liberation in Christ of all those imprisoned in their selfishness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
that those whose hearts are empty and cold may discover happiness in the love of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick in mind or body may attain permanent healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us lift up to the Lord our own petitions and the intentions offered in this Mass. God of compassion and love, hear the cries of the world trapped in suffering and sin, and set us free through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you. And grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest please kneel You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, 
saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church and gra graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.